Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something really 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 exciting. So I asked on my Instagram for people to send me their selfies so I could draw them because I was looking at my art and I found out that all of my faces looked exactly the same and I was kind of getting into a rut. So I asked people to send me their selfies so that I could draw them and get some unique faces in the mix and try to, you know, mix something up with my art a little bit. So, if you are interested in sending me your selfie, please do use the hashtag DrawMeMomo and also give me a shout out, repost one of my pictures, and I may draw you for next time. Um, I definitely want a lot of different faces, so please, please send me your selfies, and yeah. Um, anyway, so the people I'm drawing today all pretty much happen to be people I actually know. Um, this person right here is Amanda Elise. You guys might follow her on YouTube. She's an amazing artist. She also has a really awesome beauty channel. She's such a sweet person and I just adore her to death. I love her so much. And she's like ridiculously pretty and really, really good at makeup. So of course, I absolutely had to draw her because her face is gorgeous. Anyway, so yeah, that's Amanda Elise. Go follow her on YouTube. She's incredible. Um, I also drew uh, one of my friends, Camille, who I will draw next after this. Um, Camille is actually one of my IRL friends. And I just think she's also really pretty. She's just like, oh, a babe. Anyway, um, so yeah. And then I also drew my friend Madison, who is an internet friend who turned into an IRL friend. And she lives like across the country from me, but I actually got to meet her in person when I went on vacation one time. And she's like the bayest of all bays. I met her when <laughs> we both started out on like deviantart.com in like 2007 dark times anyway but that's where we met and we've just stayed in touch through like all these years and we've both like grown as people and artists and it's just really cool to have a friend like that anyway um yeah and then another girl i drew um is someone i met at a convention one time and she actually commissioned me to draw her so i figured oh, i'll just draw her again because she's also really pretty. And that's Toxic Kitty. She's the one with like the super poofy hair that you'll see in a few minutes. Anyway, yeah. And then the last person I drew is someone from Instagram. I'd never met her before, but I loved her picture because she looked so happy in it. She's the one with like the shawl thing. Um, she sent me a picture of her and her family from what looks like a Renaissance festival and she just looked so happy and so cute. So I drew her as well. So yeah, that is all the people that I drew today. And like I said, I'm getting just really bored with not quite my style. I like my artistic style. It's just I'm drawing the same face over and over and over again. And it's getting me frustrated and bored. So with this exercise, I wanted to get different eye face or eye eye faces, different eye shapes and face shapes and noses and all kinds of different things so I can have some diversity in what I draw and I think that's really important I feel like artists fall into like a comfort zone which isn't necessarily a bad thing but if you stay in that comfort zone zone for too long it just gets you know, stuff gets repetitive and I think personally it's I was getting kind of bored drawing the same thing over and over again so yes that is the goal for this exercise at least um, yeah and I'm also uploading this video on a Tuesday instead of a Wednesday and that is because I am actually going to Disneyland in a few days. I'm going to Disneyland and the Harry Potter theme park and I am so ridiculously excited like oh my god guys the hype is too real but anyway all tomorrow I'm gonna be busy packing and preparing for that because we're leaving on Thursday so I thought I would just upload this video now and I'm going to be vlogging while I'm there so let me guys know if you would be interested in seeing my vlogs um, I love watching people's vlogs especially if they're going someplace really fun like Disneyland so um, I'm gonna have a lot of fun filming that but let me know if that's something you guys would like to see uh, so yeah um, for materials for this sketchbook thing, um, I'm obviously using my Strathmore mixed media sketchbook and I'm using uh, just a red colored pencil. I don't know what the brand is. I have just a whole bunch of them anyway. Um, it's just a plain red color pencil and I prefer using red pencils 
as opposed to like regular graphite pencils. I'm not quite sure why. I just really hate drawing with graphite pencils. Like they get smudgy and they get messy and I don't know. I just, I prefer using color pencils instead. I think the end product turns out better for me personally, but that's just me. Anyway, um, you guys can also kind of see my sort of process for faces, how I kind of tackle drawing faces in general. I start off with a circle and then I add some basic guidelines. And I always start with the nose because once you figure out where the nose is, it's really easy to figure out where everything else goes and relative to the nose. So yeah, if you guys want, I could do like a better video on breaking down exactly how I tackle faces. Um, kind of like a tutorial, but more of just like a walkthrough on how I draw a basic human face. Um, so yeah, let me know if that is something you guys would be interested in. So that's about all I have time for today. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to check out all my social media links. Again, like I said, if you want to be part of the Draw Me Momo hashtag, follow me on Instagram, reblog, or regram, I guess? Uh, repost one of my pictures and then tag one of your selfies, Draw Me Momo. And yeah, that's about it. So I hope you guys have an excellent day. And yeah, let me know if you'd like to see a Disneyland vlog or and a face tutorial. So yeah, see you later, guys.